nestled between Tony Gwynn Drive and Trevor Hoffman Way. This is Petco Park. Major League Baseball on tap. The Atlanta Braves and the San Diego Padres. First pitch coming your way next. All right, just about ready for baseball. And on the mound for San Diego in this one, you Darvish. What do we need to know here about the right-hander? Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working, but if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. The 1-1. One -one. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. The wind of the pitch. That Whoa, misses. That and that's ball two. It's a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Ozzie Albies up to the plate. One down, base is empty. Just missed. The two one. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. One out. Base is empty. And okay. another ball. And the right-hander deals. And there's ball four. Here's Marcelo Zuna. And the pitch. Albies on the move. Pitch misses. Throw safe. Well, a nice lead and a nice steal there to get into scoring position with the heart of the order at the plate. That might just lead them to pitching around these hitters a little more because of the open base, but it's early in this ballgame. Can't imagine they'll change the attack plan too much. One out, the runner at second, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Next offering is in for a strike. And downstairs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. And it's second. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Two away. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Two outs. Swing and a tapper. Over to first. And Olson is set down. And that is the inning. Braves strand one. And now the Friars will get their first chance. No score. Major League Baseball is on the show.
back here in San Diego. And on the mound today, a guy who will give them innings, Chris Sale. Chris, how about a scouting report? Well, Sale's a strikeout pitcher, and the thing about it is he'll throw strikes early, but then start teasing the zones, and that's what the great ones do. you got to make sure you elevate him, get him out over the plate. That's the only way you're going to have a chance. Now it's the DH, Luis Arias. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. That misses the zone. Now two balls and a strike. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. Popped up. Arcia makes the catch, and there's one gone. As we take a look at the Padres lineup, they're dealing with a top-level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Oh, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you've got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, get him moving off the mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just oh. in a flow, step out, mess that up his good. timing, somehow try to get in his head a little bit, and then when he does come in the zone, you may only get one pitch. You better not miss it. Here's the switch hitting left fielder, Jerickson profile. And Singy, as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, and you know, if you don't get to guys like this, a lot of times early, once they really settle in, it's going to be the later innings that they hand that ball over to a reliever if they do at all. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Padres go down quietly. Scoreless after one. Back here at Petco Park, here's Sean Murphy. The catch Sean, Sean Murphy. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Here's Jared Kelnick. The pitch. Little chopper rolls foul. And now it's one and two. Fouls it back with two strikes. One, two now. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Pitcher having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss. Third foul ball in a row. Righty to the plate. And that one hammered Profar. Going back. Can't get there. This one lands foul. And a swing and a miss. And now one away. Here's Gio Urshela. Gio Urshela. At the belt and fires. Rudder takes off. That's a hit. They fired it quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. He was all over that one. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Here's Orlando Arcia. Two on, one out. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Two and one now. Two aboard. Hey. Eric Summersgill, our plate umpire. One thing to watch out for, Boog, is what side of the plate Summersgill might be favoring. He usually sets up at an angle 
Pitchers sometimes will try to figure that out early so they can attack that spot and get as many strike calls as possible. Right hander kicks deals. That's a little bit low. Way to lay off that pitch down. Michael Harris waits on deck. Three two. Swing and a miss. That's a strikeout. He swung over top of the curveball. Well, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. Two strikes, the sort of pitch you're hoping for. A bit of a mistake, and I'd say in a very hittable location, but clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. Now in for the Braves, Michael Harris. Two on, two outs. And it stays fair. Here comes the runner. Here comes the throw. It's off the mark, and he scores. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring it back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. Jorge Soler up at the plate. Two outs. In there. And so now one and two. Pitch. Bows it off, still one and two. Traffic on the bases with one already in here at the top of the second. Hard ground ball base knock. The run scores from third. It's two nothing. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. First and second, two down. Here is Ozzie Albies up to hit. Kicks and deals. And that one is inside. First and second, two down. And another ball. Marcelo Zuna on deck for Atlanta. Three one is on the way. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That's back there. And it's a one hop. Should be extra bases. One run is in. Now two runs score. And they lead by four. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one. Marcelo Zuna. Next up for the Braves. Man on second, two down. That one to first. Solano takes it to the bag. That'll end the inning after a lot of scoring. They get four runs on five hits, no errors, and leave one. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Braves four and the Padres nothing. And we're back. Leading now Machado up, up here. Padres. The third baseman. You know, Boo, Petco Park seems to be transforming into Machado's castle. I mean, nobody's hit more home runs in this ballpark. And Machado passed Adrian Gonzalez for the top spot on the list in 2023. And he handles it himself for the out. Batting fifth. The center fielder. Jackson. Merrill. Jackson Merrill at the plate now. His first career home run happened right here at Petco Park. Yeah, and he got the silent treatment from his teammates in the dugout, which is such a baseball thing. You don't see it anywhere else. Nothing Hello. like running through One the fight. dugout, pretending to high-five teammates who won't even look at you. And a 2-1 hammered but foul. Oh. 
ground ball left side and it goes just foul. The Padres down by four bottom half of inning number two that just misses and it's three and two. Wow that's a tough pitch to lay off. Swings through it for the K. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. I'm not sure that, that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. And a swing and a miss there. One ball, two strikes. Two outs, bases empty. This one lifted in the air, left field. He makes the grab, and that ends the inning. Top half of the Leading third inning, three. Matt Olson up to the plate. The Matt, one of the things that helped Olsen, Olsen in 2023 a stance adjustment and that as well kept him more balanced for less swing and miss that clips a corner wow just a beautiful backdoor slider right there if you've got any chance of hitting that pitch you have to wait until the absolutely That's last the millisecond just a tough pitch to hit and not an easy one to throw either left hand hitter waits Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Left hand batter waits. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Got him. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Clearly looking out now over that, the plate that, on that outer third, oh, and that pitch finished. Perfect. Right down the middle, just a little bit in, and he couldn't pull the trigger. And here it comes. So a foul ball makes it one and two. A wind in the pitch. Bounce to the right side. Cronenworth throws on to first. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. Jared Kellner. Jared Kellner next up for the Braves. Two down, nobody on. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The wind of the pitch. And they'll do it again. Ah. Foul tip, but he hangs on for strike three. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Braves four and the Padres nothing. And welcome back Leading to the ballpark. The Bottom ballpark. of the inning. Now here's the Jake Cronenberg. With Chris Sale on the mound today for Atlanta, I was thinking a bit about his career and his expectations here with the Braves. I think the biggest change for him is the fact that he won't be required to carry the entire pitching staff. This team will be able to survive if he has one of those tough stretches. Bounce to the right. Steps on first for the out. Batting in. The first baseman. Jonathan. Here's Donovan Solano. Yeah. yeah. Big swing and a miss. Kelly just threw One that ball. fastball Two by him, elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. And ball. another ball. Two strike. Right back to him on the mound. Gets it to oh. first. 
And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Batting nine. The catcher. Kyle Higashioka, the next up for the Padres. Two outs. That one's in there, and it's one and two. Oh, he hit him. And that got him pretty flush. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. So the batting order turns over. And now here is Luis Arias. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. And a pitch. In there at the knees for a strike. Fights that one away, still one and two. Here comes a pitch. Oh, that good. Still two and two after the foul ball. The Padres down by four here in the last half of the third. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And that is that. Padres leave one. They're down 4 nothing. All set for the start of the inning. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Gio Urshela. Two Aye. one pitches in there, and the count is even. Well, he hasn't quite settled in out there. Four runs in three innings. He's going to have to have some quick one, two, three innings to pitch deep into this ball game. And down on strikes. Picks up strikeout number seven. And next for Atlanta, Orlando Arcia. Orlando. You know, the first manager to ever win a game here at Petco Park was Tony Gwynn. Yes, Tony Gwynn. They had a college baseball tournament here in March 2004, and Tony managed San Diego State to a win. Base is empty one away. Top half of inning number four. Base it misses. It's a strikeout. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Two down, nobody on. On the ground to third. Machado throws the first in time. They don't come much closer than that. Bang, bang, play to end the inning. Braves go down quickly here, but they lead it four to nothing. Bottom four. The batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. And Sale deals. Swing and a foul straight back. That one down the line, and that's a fair ball. Around first, digging for two. The throw in, and he'll pull into second safely. Nice job keeping it fair as he turned on it down the line. And once it got through the infield, it was a double all the way. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. So, man aboard. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Jerickson Profar. Close one doesn't get the call. Three and one now.
That one ripped. Can't get to it as it drops into the corner. Runner comes in from second to score, and they cut the lead. It's 4-1. In there safely. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. Manny Machado up to the plate. And he deals. And Manny gets a piece. One and two now. Sail back to work. Wouldn't chase that time. Profar leads off second with nobody out. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Out towards right center field. Solaire gets under it. Squeezes it. Runner tags it second. And he's in safely at third with one out. The center field, number three. Jackson. Merrill. So up next, Jackson Merrill. This is the classic manufacturing a run situation. A runner at third, less than two outs, and a golden opportunity to bring him home. One and two now, sail. Oh, and that's too high. In this situation, he's trying to get you to pop something up or jam you. It's a really good take, knowing you got an opportunity to drive in a run here. Padres trailing by three. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Man, there was no deviating from the fastball right there. He just kept coming after him with it. Here it is. Hit it if you can. And he just couldn't find a way to put it in play. Xander Bogarts now. Sale delivers. That one nope. missed. Two outs and one in scoring position. Next pitch is inside and the count's full. Jake Cronenworth. Hitting on deck circle. Two outs. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. The batter, number nine. Second baseman. Now it's the second baseman, Jake Cronenworth. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Good eye right there. Two balls, one strike. Swung on, belted. That one's carrying. One run across, and it hits the fence. Around third, the relay to the plate. He'll score. Two runs are in, but it's a one-run game. Showed some really nice patience in that impact. Worked himself into a good count. He hit that ball really well to deep right field right there. Got a pitch to drive and just stayed through it nicely. Didn't quite have the trajectory to clear the fence, but you're always happy with an extra base hit. Now at the plate, Donovan Solano. The pitch. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Brings it in. That is the inning. But three score in the inning. Two of them on this two-run double.
It's now a 4-3 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. We're back, and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Brian Hohen. Well, they didn't get much length out of their starter in this one, so they've got a lot of outs to eat up in that bullpen. I think they'll look for some length out of them right here if they can get it. Next to hit, Jorge Soler. The right fielder, number two, Jorge Soler. Swing and a ground ball out to short. One up, one down. Now that second base, Ozzy Albies. Now here is Ozzy Albies. Base is empty, one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. Bounced up the middle, Cronenworth. Fires to first on the run. They get him, but it was pretty close. Well, I'm impressed with this guy's internal clock. He knew he had plenty of time to take that extra step, secure his grip on the baseball, and make a strong, accurate throw. And now it's the Braves DH, Marcelo Zuna. Two down, nobody on. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And that's down and away. Swings and misses. And it's a 1 2 3 inning for the Braves. Nothing doing for the offense that time. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Braves four and the Padres three. And that is cut on and missed. And the count one, one and two. two Struck him out looking. Luis Arise stands in. You know, this is kind of a oh, tough oh, matchup yeah. as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. That's and that's in the dirt. That's that ball one three. misses. And the count is three, three and one. one the pitch. And foul ball. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. Three balls, two strikes, the count. Up the middle. Whips it to first on the run. Oh. All man for the fifth inning, moving along. Two quick outs. Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. I think when you contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed. If he can get on, that's going to give one more thing for that pitcher to think about. Hard hit, right side. On to first. Padres go down one, two, three. Nothing doing here this half. We're through five. It's the Braves four and the Padres three. We go to the top half of inning number six. Now the Atlanta cleanup hitter, Matt Olson. And another ball. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch.
2 2 now. Good job to fight that one off. Now a screamer into the outfield. Merrill flashes the leather on the running catch. So here's Murphy now. Okay, now it's even up. And that misses off the outside edge. Just missing off the plate there, according to the umpire, and out there on the mound, maybe trying to get an explanation. Can't say he's convinced, but it looks like he's accepted it. And a 3 2. That one is absolutely belted. That's a ball. And they tack on to their lead. It's 5-3. That one just sounded different. And yeah, might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the booth. That home run was a no-doubter. As we dive into the numbers with Snackcast. Crushed. Or just absolutely crushed. 112 miles per hour on the exit velo, and like you said, no doubt about that one. Plenty of launch angle to give it that backspin as well, and that carried way over the wall. So one out, nobody on. Here's nope. the left fielder, Jared Kellner. Two balls, two strikes. One down, base is empty. And that one here. almost got him. Chopper right side. Solano. And he takes it himself for the out. Now got it. Third base. Gio Urshela. Two outs. Base is empty. Now the third baseman. Gio Urshela. One run across in the frame so far. And we're the top half of the sixth. And another ball. Next offering is downstairs. And a pitch. That's to third. Gathers and throws to first. And that'll do it. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now 5-3. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in San Diego, now batting Jerickson Profar. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Well, he didn't get the call on the mound the pitch before. Felt like he should have had him looking, I think. But, you know, that's good composure right there. He found a way to come back with another good pitch to get him to swing and miss. And now it's Manny Machado. 1-1 one, one now. And there's the ball. The Padres down by a pair here in the bottom of the sixth. Bounce to third. Sneaks through, base hit. Percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Just one of those seeing high base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Stepping in for San Diego, Jackson Merrill. And a pitch. And a count one and two. 
Tired or not, he's relentless with the way he pitches. He might be exhausted out there, but his stuff is still nasty. Three. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. And here is Xander Bogarts. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. Sale in a one two. The shortstop takes a ball. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Joe Jimenez, the veteran right hander, appears to be loosening up. Johnson also throwing. Machado, the runner at first with two gone. Wouldn't Three chase ball. that Two time. 3-2, two, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Jake Cronenworth on deck for the Padres. Three two now. Stays alive. Sale ready. And down on strikes he goes, and that will end the inning. One left for San Diego, still a two-run deficit. It's 5-3. We go to the top of the seventh. Here's the shortstop at the plate, Orlando Garcia. Out to right. Tatis really on his horse for it. What a play in right field. And there's one down. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. One down, base is empty. And Outside, another ball. Cool. On the ground to third. Throws the first in time. And now the right fielder, Jorge Soler. Ball to strike. The pitch. And a foul ball. Been a solid inning so far in relief. Getting them through this inning only down two could give their lineup a real opportunity to just grind their way back into this game with the few outs that they have left. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. And the Braves go down quietly. And it remains 5-3. Johnny Brebbia will take over here. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Here's the second baseman, go. Jake Cronenworth. The, the second baseman, Jake Cronenworth. Righty delivers. Foul ball there. Check swing. Now it appeal to third. And that's ruled a swing. It's a strikeout. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. The Padres trailing by two here at the bottom of the seventh. Foul ball still a one and two count. Swing and a miss struck him out. 
chance to strike out the side now. You talk about now the cut. benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come he in and get the over. swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, I'll tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. One ball, two strikes. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And it's a three-up, three-down inning. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Welcome back, and a new arm of the mound to start the eighth. Number Jeremiah Estrada. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. The second so digging in, Ozzie Albies. Here's a 1-1. And that one off the outside edge. That's down and in. High fly ball, pretty well struck out towards right center. That's back there. Back gone. And they had a run. It's 6 3. Already playing with the lead, and now they're celebrating a home run. They're having a great time out there. He came out of his shoes on that one, but managed to keep his mechanics intact long enough to get to the ball and through it, and it went a long way. Marcelo Zuna digs in now. And the right-hander deals. That's in there, and it's one and two. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. That one not close. The count now two and two. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Adrian Morahone up and throwing. Number one getting cranked up as well. Nobody on, nobody out. And we're at the top of the eighth. Misses off the plate. And that's ball three. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. And here's a 3-2. Hammer, base hit. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Here's Matt Olson. Pitch misses. And it's two and one. You know, these Braves, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. Just look at how the ball's coming off their bats, and tell me it's fun playing defense at this level. They've got seven hits at 90-plus miles per hour exit velocity, so you got to look alive out there. And now two and two. Two ball, two ball. And the righty deals. Way outside, three and two now. Ozuna gets his lead at first with nobody out. Three, two. Three. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, that split caught a lot of the zone. Definitely a hittable pitch, but coming off the fastball the pitch before, it's kind of tough to recognize. You notice there's something different about it. He threw it with the same arm action, same release point, and he left it up. But the movement and the change of speeds, that was enough to do the job. And a swing to miss. I think he was sitting up speed there. It's 
spoils that one and it remains two and two. And a pitch. And another ball. The pitch. This one popped up. Cronenworth moving under this one. He's there. He's got it. Two down. Now the left fielder, Jared Kellner. Two outs. Ground ball up the middle. Cronenworth. They take the force out, and that will end the inning. Colby's with the key hit for Atlanta. It's now 6-3. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back now, now new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the number, bottom of the eighth, seven, Joe Jimenez. Joe Jimenez. So the San Diego batting go. order oh, turns oh, oh, over. Oh, oh. Luis Arias getting ready to hit. Oh, oh, yeah. Right through there for a strike. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. The pitch. That Whoa. misses the zone, and it's two and two. Two, two strikes. Wouldn't chase that time. And a payoff pitch. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Harris balls it in, and there's one away. Now back, right fielder. So with one down, it'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. The Braves leading by three. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Murphy right there to make the grab. And there's two down. Good hard no fastball up in the zone right there. They look really no good coming right in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Profar climbs in on that left side. Kicks and deals. Comes up empty. That's strike two. One ball, two strikes. And Whoa. another ball. Swings and misses, struck him out. Three up, three down that time. Ninth inning coming up. Braves six, and the Padres three. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound. Adrian Morahol. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Gio Urshela to the plate. The third base. Gio Urshela. The pitch. Tap to first. Solano. And he handles it himself for the out. Now that shortstop. Orlando Arcia. So up next, Orlando Arcia. 
The wind and the pitch. Way out front for strike two. Action in the pen down there. Wandy Peralta, the veteran southpaw, is getting ready to come on if needed. Base is empty one away here at the top of the ninth. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. No runs, no hits, no errors. On to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, six coming up. Braves six and the Padres three. Welcome back. And here comes the closer, Rysel Iglesias. Well, he's the now guy they hope to turn to out of the pen to lock down a win. Six. So this game has gone right. to plan, more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. Here's Manny Machado now. When you talk about elite third defensive base. third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. Machado. Stud. When you look at players like this, you play that hot corner. Got to be pretty courageous over there with the way balls come off the bat. That's the kind of guy that every year you expect to be in the all-star game and have a gold glove, if not a platinum glove. Right-handed reliever. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Well, the first batter, it's always a big one for the closer. I mean, you get that punch out. You get settled in. You feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump. And kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the fielders that are playing behind you that, you know, you're going to wrap this thing up. Left-hand hitter waits. Boots it. Safe at first. No play. We'll see how they score this. Well, it looked like no a pretty bad. routine play. Just couldn't get it to stick in the glove as he gets tagged with the error. Should have been two outs in the inning, but now they have to work around it and get two more. Here in the bottom of the ninth, one out. Xander Bogarts, the next up for the Padres. At the belt and fires. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Here comes a pitch. The no shortstop pitch takes the ball. Open. The Padres trailing by three. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. Next pitch inside, and it's three and two. So here we go. Base runner at first could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. On the ground right side, four, six, out, three, and that's the ball game. A little sigh of relief for the pitcher there, ending the ball game with a nice double play. You always love when you can get two for one, especially when it wraps up the ball game. Nice win for this team today. 6-3, our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chomby saying so long.